Hey guys, so I have Brinley here again. Um, yesterday she was wheezing really bad. Um, so I'll put the video of that in um, my page also and see if I can link it to this too. But um, I wasn't able to like find a lot on here and I did a lot of reading um, to like some blog posts and other like chicken care people. And actually there was a gal, um, her name was Rachel at our local tractor supply who has a farm as well. And she was so much help for us um, in getting the supplies that we needed and everything. Um, so I can't thank her enough because she literally probably saved Brinley's life. So Brinley is um, a seven pound Americana. Um, and um, they were born, oh gosh, when was it? Um, the second week of March. So still really young, but um, they're doing great. Um, all of her sisters are in the run behind me. But um, so she was wheezing yesterday really, really bad. And um, in just a short amount of time, hey, honey, I know it's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Shh, it's okay. You're all right. Yeah. Um, but she was really wheezing really, really bad and it was really concerning. So, um, in just not even 24 hours, she's already better. Um, and I first, um, used, it's called Vet RX and it's a natural, um, um, supplement, I guess you could say. It comes in a liquid bottle. Um, and I'll link it down below, but it comes in a, li a liquid bottle and, uh, it, it's basically, um, there's echinacea in it, some clove, a lot of other good things um, in there for um, for chickens and for the girls so that um, she's getting some snacks here <laughs> um, to help with the respiratory issues going on. So I'm going to show you what I did. So you take one teaspoon to one cup of water and you just, you warm it up. You don't want it to be cold because you don't want to chill your, your chickens. Um, so what it was was that Brinley had pneumonia um, I guess she still technically does, but, um, I learned that a lot of birds at this time, um, can come down with it. So I just did up one teaspoon of the Vet RX. It smells really good. Like it smells like Vicks. Um, yeah, it's delicious, but it's, so it's like an oil consistency. So you have to like really shake it up yourself. Um, but so you do it with like some warm water. So I pre-mixed it um, and then I just heated it up a little bit. And then what you do is I just dip my hands in it and get some drips. And it says to put it all over their head. I know, I know. Yeah, that's that same <laughs> crazy stuff, huh? Yeah, but you know what? This is what made it better. Yeah, this is what made it better. So I'm putting it all over her head, just making sure that it gets like into her feathers a little bit. I know, baby. Hey, Shh. sorry if that's loud. Our neighbors are doing some lawn mowing behind us. We have some random uh, nice 60 degree days. It's actually almost 70 here today. Um, first bit of November in Michigan, so it's crazy. So then I just do a little bit more, make sure I get that oil on my fingers and I get it on her comb. I rub it on her beak. Yeah, does it smell nice? That's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's get under your wings, honey. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is you're gonna get right underneath their wing. So this is the crevice right here of her wing. So same thing again, I'm just gonna dip my fingers and get it underneath her wing. So I do this twice a day, um, during the day and then at night, and you put it under their wings, um, I'm thinking just so that when they um, go to sleep and if they tuck their heads under there, um, then it's, they're, they're getting the, the benefits of the supplement, the, the oil. Um, and it helps with their respiratory system. And it also isn't exposed to all the elements either underneath their wings, so it's a little bit more protected. So I got that side. Good girl. 
Good girl, Brinley. Remy, <laughs> Remy, sit. Our um, golden doodle, Remy, actually just had some lipomas removed. So she's got a big cone around her head. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Rams. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna do the last wing here. Hold on, baby. I know, I know. And the other big thing too um, was keeping her isolated from the other chickens. I just um, took our dog kennel that we had for Remy when she was a puppy, put some straw in it, and I just put her underneath the coop so that she's still around the other chickens so she doesn't get any behavioral issues or the other ones don't. Um, adapt any behavioral issues towards her. Um, and good girl, good girl, yeah. Um, you're so pretty. I just love her markings. She's such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Um, but yeah, so not an expert or anything like that. Um, I just started out with chickens um, this past year with one of my other friends who already had chickens herself, but I love our girls and um, they're amazing to us and we love them and they're like our little family. They're my little girls that I never had. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi. I know. I know. You want to say bye to everybody? You say bye? Yeah. Bye. Bye guys.